I couldn't talk him out of the crucifixion, but I, I think it's because I'm not very persuasive. I'm just cool and reflective or reflexive. But yeah, that was after that. I remember after that quest, I was like, I think I'm done for a little bit. And I just like took it out where I'm like, what, where do you go from there? Hello and welcome. My name is J.E. And with me today is my good old friend, Alexander Gonzalez. Howdy. And please remember that we are not game devs. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm doing okay, Jay. I'm doing okay. Um, actually, I'm doing pretty good. Great, <laughs> actually. How about you? I don't know. That <laughs> I really, sounded I really a little confused. I, don't, I couldn't tell. Because I... I'm I'm better than okay. I'm better than okay. Okay, <laughs> that's good. How are you, Jay? I'm I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, but just fine. I think fine has such a negative connotation these days. Where does fine lie for you? Is it between good and great? I would say it's uh in the middle, teetering more on bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, teetering on bad. I thought it had a pre- a pretty bad connotation. <laughs> fine. It's fine. like kind of like that fine where it's like. It, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But those are not the, I guess, feelings that we're not, uh, wait, what? Those we are should not make the a separate podcast today. where we do talk about our feelings and emotions. Nah, that sounds boring. Today, we are creating something new. Every week, we are not game days, we'll create a new, exciting video game idea that we have always wanted to play, but do not have any knowledge or know how. Create the wonderful experience that are video games. Today is my turn to present We Are Not Game Devs 142nd IP. The reason why I took so long with that is because I had a great idea for a game going into this. And for the life of me, I do not remember it right now. I just thought of another great idea for a video game. Yeah, you write that down, which I should have written down. And I was like, this is such a great idea for a game. Why don't you... You know what? I think I know... You need, like, journals, man. You need, like, little journals to write things down. I just remembered it. And the reason why I forgot about it is because the idea is so ridiculous. I thought I would remember it because it's a ridiculous idea. And it's amazing. It's awesome. So, this is a game where... Let's say the game starts. You press new game, right? And then you select uh, all the options that are in the first half, inverted, non-inverted, color correction, all that stuff. And the freaking, it's like you hear cheering, flashing of lights, and then a red curtain opens up. And then this character runs out and he has this giant like gun a t-shirt gun in his hand and he puts it in his back and he's like, who wants free t-shirts? And he goes in his bag and stuffs the t-shirt gun and starts blasting. And the game is, I'm assuming a third person shooter where you load up this t-shirt gun with t-shirts and you hit people and it like hits them. And the shirt goes onto them like Iron Man. Right. And the idea is, is, As you level up through the game, you unlock new t-shirts and these new t-shirts will have like different effects um, where like maybe you'll hit one and it like explodes like a t-shirt explosion and then multiple people around that radius will get t-shirts on their bodies. And then like you just have to reload different t-shirts and it will do different effects to who you're shooting at. And then we'll have like concerts, we'll have like pool parties, motivational speaker things, and then those are like the levels. Why limit it just to that? Why not shoot dogs in a dog park and then you're putting outfits on <laughs> them too? Sure. Let's do that. Yeah, you. it's the same t-shirt, but it works. You could shoot pets, you could shoot humans, you could shoot... So like if you're in an outdoor arena, you get bonus points if you shoot a bird. Yeah. That's flying across the screen and then it has a t-shirt on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Any living creature and maybe I feel like can we rework the t-shirt idea to be something like it feels like it's almost like there. It could be something else though. How so? But I guess t-shirts fun. I, I just I Do just... you want it to be where you where you dress people in general? But then that's weird. No. Then I, I want I, it to be like aliens. I imagine Because I'm thinking, what if there's a bunch of naked people running around and you dress them see i imagine everyone's just shirtless or and or everyone's in white clothing everyone's in white boring clothing 
and you just paint them. Is that your idea? I don't know about paint them. Can you can't make a game about naked people running around? They're not naked. They're just shirtless. They have no shirts on. <laughs> okay. So do the women? So the women will have bras. Yeah, the the women will have like bralettes. Like they'll have like a little bralettes. Okay, I, I understand so what you're saying. The there. graphics. I'm not thinking this is gonna look like GTA. I'm thinking this is gonna look like kind of like Fall Guys. To us, that's sense. what I'm thinking too. But if that's the case, let's make let's make little humanoids instead of like, because I want to be able to sell this game to everybody. Yeah. No, well, it's not like it's, it's not gonna. They're not gonna have even breasts. They'll just have a like a little cloth thing around and they're just gonna be like little people they're gonna look like oh they're gonna be simplified yeah okay. yeah like that's what i mean by it's gonna look like fall guys like they're not gonna look like detailed human beings they're just gonna look like um cartoony they're not gonna blobs. have realistic um proportions yeah that makes like, a lot more sense. even like cyanide and happiness cartoon comics or something like just something like super s simple you could tell that there's guys and girls, but they're not really. The things that are going to be designed well, I think, are the T-shirts that you're shooting out of this uh, T-shirt gun, where when it hits, they'll be wearing whatever T-shirt that you put on them, and they'll have like different designs and stuff on them. And then the different ammo, this is what's going to be fun. Is like we can do one thing where it's like a T-shirt that uh, is a normal standard rate of fire, normal velocity, and hits like one person. And then you can do things like a long sleeve t-shirt that is a little bit further and maybe, yeah, like when you shoot it, it goes slower, but it goes further. Or you can do like a sleeveless vest and that thing just shoots really fast. Or we could also have like, you know, like those. You could also make it like bubble bobble a little bit. Yeah, but I, I kind of like, want You this can to, see the shirts coming up. Like I kind of want this to feel like Ratchet and Clank meets um, like Katamari Damacy, Damacy or something like that, where it's like just crowds everywhere and then you just kind of get to switch through different ammo and then just shoot people with the different effects. And one of the okay. effects while you're naming them, I can imagine, you know, like those those shirts some ravers wear that are like completely clear and like just holes. That could be yes. like your rapid fire. You could like load a bunch of those at the same time and it could be like a machine gun. Oh, okay, okay. And all right. So let's think of some clothing types here. We have a normal crew neck t shirt, I assume, right? That's going to be the normal standard. Well, I don't even think it's just going to be like that. I think. Even different, different kinds of t-shirts, but they're going to be t-shirts. Not even that. Just like different graphic tees will even have different patterns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about the type. Mm. And then we'll also have sweaters, um, a hoodie. You could even do a turtleneck. Yeah. But I think the focus is going to be mostly on the design of what is on the shirt, not so much the types. I'm sure there'll be multiple types there. Well, because you had just expressed like like spread type T-shirts or T-shirts that when you hit one person, it spreads to the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then that could be dictated by either the, yeah, the type or even just the graphic. You know what I mean? Like the graphic can be a power on its own. Like if like you have a t-shirt that has a burger on it or something that'll have like a specific power type to it rather than like a sweatshirt that has like a, a dinosaur on it or something like that. Okay. 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 I see it. I see it. Now the levels, I think the levels can be really easily fixed because you're talking about, going through a bunch of crowds and what that immediately makes me think of is the genre of like a zombie game, but it doesn't have to be a zombie game. Mm. You can make them living, but you can make them like a theme park, for instance. Mm -hmm. So not only can you shoot people who are crowding up, but you can also shoot people with t-shirt guns that are on rides, including Ferris wheels. Another one that I was thinking of is a convention. If uh, it can be any kind of convention, really. But that would be a great place to get people. Oh, and you know what? They don't even have to be shirtless. Like, because how, how many times have you gone to a convention or a place where they do t-shirt guns and throw free t-shirts out where people just, when they get it, they just wear it over the t-shirt that they already brought. You know what I mean? Um, so they yeah. don't necessarily have to be 
shirtless either. That's just something. And then that we can't mind. neglect the low hanging fruit of a sports game. Yeah, that's obviously that's that's probably going to be the first level. I'm sure. I I think the first level would be a like a concert, and then we'd have like whatever the music of the game's going to be. We'll have like a fake band playing the entire time during this level. You know what I mean? While you're shooting okay, out free yeah, T-shirts, yeah. and it could be the band's logo or something. That works. That works. A beach. You go to a beach. A beach would be another good one. That's perfect. Beach is good. Beach is good. And then, um, tell me if this is wrong. It's a it's it's a t shirt gun. Yeah. But could we do a school? <laughs> college, college, college. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It just be it, it's. I know. I I I see where everyone's thinking. School shooting, but that's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking about t shirt gun and fun. T shirt gun and fun. That's going to be the name of the game. Maybe it would be like at a frat party or something like that. That works. Frat party. There Maybe we go. this there would we go. be like. Uh, how about one is a water park where there are people yeah. <laughs> who are mad about it. Yeah. Like that's the only time where nobody's happy. We'll have a small. So this is going to be rated like E for everyone, but almost t it's gonna have like that thing where it says e for everyone but it's gonna have like some alcohol a use. list a little a yeah. little chunk alcohol use cartoon some violence. um <laughs> light nudity yeah yeah and during that pool sexually suggestive behavior that that uh water park level there's gonna be a wet t-shirt contest and then you just you're the one that shoots it's like an easter egg a small thing that you can only find if you like find it but it's there all right. All right. All right. And I see, like I said, this is going to be very simplified, kind of cartoony. I'm trying to think of a game that looks like what I'm envisioning in my head. Um, but I can't. Uh, but like they're going to kind of look like. I was thinking like Fall Guys or um, what about if they look like Wallace and Gromit? That's that's me throwing it back. That's mm, me dating mm. myself. Fuck. You know what I'm talking about, though? That Do you weird know Wallace play... and Gromit? animation, Claymation, yeah. um, British, where it's a dog and a British man who always gets into stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I also see these maps being not huge, but kind of big, like big er. Yeah. Where you, you would be able to, exp it would take you different playthroughs to explore all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. And let's say you just get like what, three minutes to t-shirt as many people as you can. And then we'll say like, different types of t-shirts and sweaters you could find in the open world. We'll have them scattered throughout the world and you could go pick these up or, um, yeah, there's like boxes or something you could break open or something. And then they'll have different, the different types of shirts or t-shirts, or do you want it to be like a store that you do in between levels where you could buy different t-shirts and then like preload your bag full of different t-shirts? I think you'll earn, your own those t-shirts that type and then you'll be able to buy like different versions of that t-shirt um at the store you know what i'm talking about mm. so mm. the different ammo types you'll be able to get for free and you'll get a bunch of different types but there'll always be cooler and different versions at the store okay that you can get so to. it's more like an in get in between level thing and then you go back to replay by using different t-shirt uh yeah. powers so you could get a better score in different levels cool cool yep Speaking of levels and all that, the music, uh, we kind of mentioned there's going to be like a fake band, I imagine, to this. And I uh, feel like it, it would be kind of like... Pop rock? Yeah, pop rock was exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, so it's going to be upbeat, but still like a little rocky. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pricing, I'm thinking like 30 bucks. Yeah, no, most definitely thirty bucks. Yeah, thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. I would honestly, with this game, I don't, I don't mean to say it like this, but this would be one of those games that I'd be like, man, if they wanted it for like um, games with gold or PS Plus for the month, I think that would be our hit. Yeah, you know, yeah, that would be like our groove. I think it's definitely one of those type of games. What if we even had? This is a maybe. What if we had like a like PVP a mode or something where it's like. You, you try, go against each crowd 
like paint, like you paint over them. Yeah, either like that, like oh, kind of like tag from like Tony Hawk. Um, or you can do a Tetris style where if you get different combos, it sends T-shirts over to mm. the other person's screen and then they get dressed with uh, your stuff or you get or you block them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could see kind of like a Splatoon like kind of like territory grabbing PvP. Yeah, because on the levels thing. that would make sense. And it would be funny to see different people walk by you with the other person's T-shirts on and you're like, oh, shit. No, I got to I got to shoot them. And maybe what it, you could also do is if you t-shirt another player character, maybe it'll like slow them down, like make them sluggish a little bit or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. PVP mode. Yay. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you shoot them with the t-shirt, the t-shirt, like they wear the t-shirt and you, like you said, it makes them slow until the t-shirt falls off. Yeah. Maybe there'll be like an animation where you like struggle to like take it off or something. I like it. All right, Alex. It's time to start your timer because it's time to name this game. All right. And go. What'd you say? T-shirt, I say? guns, and fun? T -shirt, yeah. T-shirt, gun, fun. Just T-shirt, gun? Is that what? T-shirt, gun, fun. T-shirt, gun, fun tgf how about more like or tgaf t-shirt guns are fun has to be clever how about free tees free tees free tees free shirts yeah fuck it you well no free tees is better free, free tees. tees at 46 seconds yeah free tees Sure. Free tees. Free tees. Free tees. All right. So free tees is a game where you play as someone with a t-shirt gun and you're <laughs> shooting everybody you can see with different t-shirts. Now, t-shirts have different effects. So a normal t-shirt may just hit one person, whereas a long sleeve could bounce and hit multiple people. Now, this is where it gets fun, where you can play online against your friends. And on the online matches, you can even see your t-shirts on their screen and even cover your friends in your t-shirts. In free tees. <laughs> when you say it fast, it sounds like a completely different word. <laughs> That's what I like doing. All right. Free tees. So, I think we have a game here, Alex. What do you think? Would this be a game you want to play? And is it fun? <laughs> yeah, I'd play it. I don't know for how long I'd play it, though. Um, we'd have to make sure that the t-shirt gun sound is really satisfying, like a good thump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be, we have to nail that. But I, I would definitely play it. I would hope it'd be something like um, that shark game, Manhunt. Right, right. Manhunter? I think it's That Man came Hunter. out for uh, PS Plus. What about you, Jay? Would this be a game? It's your baby. Would you play yeah, it? Yeah. Do you love I your mean, baby? I mean, I think the same thing as you. Where I would play it, especially if it was like free on <laughs> PS Plus for that month. I'd probably play it for like a week, maybe two, if I have a good time with it. Um, if there's a platinum, I might platinum it. But... Yeah. I don't think I'll like stick with it. Like if it started adding a battle pass and seasons, probably wouldn't stick with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that would be too big for its britches. Maybe there would be like an Animal Crossing like design your own tees and upload it into the game type of thing. But And that's how you get penis tees. <laughs> now that we have a game uh complete game, what game studio would you assign to make free tees the best? I mean, Double Fine, right? Yeah, Double Fine's a good one. Um, let me see. Fuck. Do you happen to know the studio that made Costume Quest? Is that Double Fine? I think that is Double Fine. Well, shit. Double Fine it is. You know, when you know, you know. Uh, also, they do a little bit bigger stuff than this now. But I feel like Hello Games might have some fun with this. I don't know why, but I they... have no my god. They've created universes, Jay. Yeah, but before what the that, fuck would they, they want to do with Danger. a t shirt game? <laughs> um, so let me find out here. Oh, oh. Who's the guy who made Travis touchdown? He likes putting t shirts in his games. 
Let's see who. <sighs> the No More Heroes games. Who made those? Oh, let's do Square Enix. Didn't they make the um, the zombie game where you're stuck in the mall? I think that's Capcom. Or is that Sega? That is fucking Capcom. No, it is Capcom. You're right. <laughs> wow. I'm failing. It's a grasshopper manufacturer, Ubisoft. Uh, they made No More Heroes. But yeah. And with that, our 142nd IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience. I'll probably never release. You could write to apphoundgames at gmail.com if you have anything to patch to the game we created today. Also, give us feedback. We're still learning how to make the show better, and your feedback really helps. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to back our ideas, please head over to patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which you caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash we are not game devs. If you liked our show, why not subscribe and give us all the stars on Apple Podcasts, Google, Google Play Store, Spotify, YouTube, and more. And if they ask for a review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review Free Tease, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with another new IB, IP again. My name's J.E. And I'm A.G. Thank you. And please remember that we are not game devs. Do you remember Bug Snacks? I do remember Bug Snacks. Kind of reminds me of Bug Snacks. I was also the reason. I think it could also look like Bug Snacks. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking too. And just the way I say it, Freedies. It sounds like a Bug Snacks um, bug. Uh, like a like a like. Wasn't there like a citrus roller thing that kind of sounded like that? Like a oh fruities. That's what it was. It was a fruities. Was it fruities? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was a fruities. Know. We both got um, platinums in that game. We did. Good for us. Congratulations. Good for us. I got a plat. Yeah, I got a platinum in Astros too, and then you kicked my ass in all the scores. No one asked you to. I did. <laughs>